Hey everyone, it's Mac, and in this video, we will create this elegant e-commerce sale post for social media using Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a square artboard that I'll be working on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a background layer for our social media post design. Download these files from the video description if you want to follow along, then drag this texture image into Illustrator. Scale it down because it's a high-resolution file, and align it to the center of the artboard. Now adjust the corners of this background layer, and ensure to fit this image on your artboard in a square shape. So the background layer is adjusted and it's time to add our brand logo on the very top. I'm using the Logitech sample logo for my design, but you can use your own logo if you want. Align your logo to the center, then zoom in and place this logo at the very top like this. Now zoom out and check if the logo is placed nicely. So now we will add our main headline for the sale post. Zoom in at the top edge and select the type tool, then write the name of your product which is Logitech Mouse in this case. Use any decent sans serif typeface like Poppins or Roboto, and set the font weight to about medium. Now change the color of your headline to white, then zoom out and bring your text inside the canvas. Now increase the size quite a bit because it's our main heading, and change the paragraph alignment to center. Adjust the position of the text below the logo. Now create a copy of this text, and write the remaining text which is the model number of this Logitech mouse. Now change its color to a bright blue shade, which is going to be this one for my design. So once the color is applied, select both these texts and place them in the center of the artboard, and slightly move the text upward to adjust its position. Now create a copy from the headline text, and write some secondary information like this. Decrease its font weight to regular, and also decrease the size quite a bit. Now align this secondary text to the center of the artboard, and because it's a secondary information, we can apply a subtle gray tone to this text. Now zoom out to see the full canvas and adjust the font size if the text is too small, and place this text right below the headline. Now it's time to add our product image on top of our design. Drag this mouse image from the project files into Illustrator, and scale it down just like this. Align this image to the center for the moment, and then try to rotate this image to a suitable angle like this. Move it slightly to the bottom side, and further rotate it until a desired result is obtained. Now adjust its position right below the text, and also adjust the size to make it prominent. Move it slightly towards left, so that it's visually centered. And don't worry if your image goes slightly beyond the edges, because this gives your design a nice, elegant look. Now we can apply a shadow to make this image more realistic. Go to the Effect menu and select Drop Shadow. Select some suitable values according to your image, and then hit OK. And you can see that the shadow depicts the mouse placed on a mouse pad. So now the image part is finally complete. It's time to add the remaining information for our social media post. With the rectangle tool selected, create a small rectangle shape like this. Change its color to this dark tone and don't worry if the color is not visible because we will make some adjustments to our rectangle shape. To make it visible, we will apply our primary blue color to the stroke. Copy the hex code for the blue color, then double click here to open the stroke color picker and paste the hex code. Now increase the stroke value to 2, and you can see that the rectangle is now visible. Zoom out to see the full canvas, and if the rectangle looks too small, you can slightly increase the height or width. Now before making further changes, create a copy for the opposite side. Now copy the secondary text from the headline, and write a feature of your product for this rectangular box. Right-click on this text, and bring it to front. Place this text inside the rectangle and change its color to white. Now increase its size to a suitable value and adjust its position. Now create a copy of this text and write some secondary information for this feature. Decrease its size quite a bit because it's also a secondary information and also apply the same gray color from the color scheme, which is this one. Now select both these texts and adjust their position inside the rectangle. Now zoom out to see if things are in line. Select this text and the rectangle, 
and create a copy for the opposite side, and you can delete the previous one if you want. Now we will apply some roundness to our rectangle shape. Go to the Effect menu and select Round Corners. Click on Preview and select a suitable value according to your rectangle size, and hit OK. So now the adjustment of this rectangle is finally complete, and it's time to apply a nice glowing effect to this rectangle shape. Once more from the Effect menu, select Outer Glow. Click on Preview to see the effect in real time, and make sure to apply the same primary blue color from the color scheme. Then select a suitable value for the outer glow, and then hit OK. So now you have a nice glowing light effect coming from the rectangle shape. Now we can make some changes to the second rectangle for the opposite side. Increase the size of the rectangle, and also edit the text and write another feature. In this case, the second feature is going to be the DPI of this mouse which shows extreme precision and control for any user, specifically for gamers. Change the paragraph alignment to left for this text, and create copies to complete the necessary information inside this rectangle. So once the information is complete, select all the text layers and align them to the left. Now place the text in the center, and make some final adjustments. You can also increase the size of this rectangle if the text is too close to the edges. Now similarly like the first rectangle, go to the Effect menu and select Round Corners. Apply a different value this time because the rectangle is slightly larger, then hit OK. After that, apply the Outer Glow effect in a similar way. Select the same values for the glow and hit OK. So now this second rectangle is also complete. Now zoom in and select everything in the rectangle including the shape, and place it closer to the image. You might notice that the image is behind the rectangles, so you can simply right-click and bring it to front. Now select the larger rectangle and the text, and place it below the product image so that some part of the rectangle is positioned under the product. You can slightly rotate the image if needed. Adjust the first rectangle as well, and place it closer to the image. The design is almost complete, but a final thing that we are going to add is a slider at the bottom left corner, just for a carousel effect. Select the Line tool and create a small horizontal line. Double-click on the color picker and apply any stroke color. Now change the color to the same gray tone from the color scheme. Copy the hex code of this gray color. Select the line and open the color picker and paste the hex code. Now increase the stroke value to 5 or 6. Open the stroke panel and change the cap type to round. Place this line closer to the image and create two copies. Slightly increase the length of this third line and also change its color to the primary blue which is this one. Copy the hex code. Zoom in on the line and open the color picker and paste the hex code. Now go to the effect menu and apply the same outer glow effect. Select the same values and hit OK. Now select these horizontal lines and adjust their distance to ensure they are not too far. Now select these lines, and adjust their position. So the design is finally complete and it's time to make a clipping mask. With the rectangle tool selected, create a perfect square equal to the size of the artboard. Now select everything on the canvas, right-click and make clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can create an elegant e-commerce post for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more similar content, and I'll see you in the next one.